it's as if a lot of people I meet are half awake. They're not fully awake. I need to be fully awake. And I like, if I'm with people to engage fully awake. Painting does that for me because unlike the computer, which I love, or my cell phone, which I love, I love all these things, but they detach me a bit. The painting gets, it's a very immediate situation. I'm in it. I'm very often using my hands. I like the visceral smells, sounds. Then I'm home. I know I'm home. It's familiar, these smells, these sounds. My grandfather was painter. My mother was painter. That's what we did. That's all. That's what we know. So the smells and the sounds are recollections, are memories, bad memories, good memories. I, I have memories of color. Color, two colors will trigger a powerful childhood memory, bad memory, good memory. Um, I need to stay the vehicle for surprise. This word I'm about to mention, to say, has many interpretations. My, I'll try to explain my interpretation. I'm staying open for the surprise because I'm waiting, often with patients, sometimes with not patients. I try to have patients for a visitation. The source, and the source is, for me, what I call the source, how I define the source is energy, because I just fascinated by energy, astounded by energy, and all its components. So I keep myself in a, hopefully a vehicle, how I take care of myself, how I eat, how I breathe, how I, to stay an energetic, keep my energy up for the work I have to do, just a vehicle just preparing everything. Einstein's preparation meeting opportunity. Something can show up that day. Something can happen. I have to be paying attention. I can't be half awake. I have to be fully awake. I'm in the studio. I think the thing that I'll say that is all I really want to say is I'm here waiting always for the extraordinary moment. There are extraordinary moments. I have experienced them. Never often enough, not often enough, but that's what I wait for. That's it. There is an exquisiteness to that extraordinary moment that is all I ask for. That's all I want. It's the la often the last move, the last movement in a painting. It's that last, I've waited, I'm patient, and it seems to be a reward of sorts. If I have allowed myself total abandonment, I've just given up to this um, process. For me, where I am right now, in my life right now, it's about openness. That's the key. I, do, I wouldn't have said that last year. But it's about openness because I need to pay attention. I have observed if I stay open, I catch glimpses of a glimpse of subconscious, my subconscious. I get a glimpse of it, and it's fleeting, off it goes. That's where there's discoveries. <clears throat> my process is not about arriving with preconceived ideas. Tried that for a long time. That didn't work out. That's hitting a brick wall. So staying open. So it's about openness and energy. These are two very important things to me. And energy is for me about not squandering it. I don't want to squander my energy. <clears throat> I need to stay focused. Because if I'm focused, if I'm focused in a piece, the viewer is going to become focused. It just is that communal thing.